Hey friends, Khan here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I want to talk to you about this DIY talk box that I made. Um, it's so cool. So let me just give you a peek inside. So this is the star of the show. This is actually a speaker. It's what makes a talk box what it is. Um, it's a Selenium 250X horn driver and it has a frequency range of 400 hertz to like 9K or something. So if you have a tube amp, then you can make one of these. Um, so this is an eight ohm speaker. And so I'm gonna plug it into my amp. And instead of plugging my amp into the speaker like you normally would, I'm plugging it into the jack right here, which basically is then wired to the speaker. Then it's gonna go out this into this tube here and then yeah you can hear it um so you can buy these for about uh, 179 bucks 169 bucks and they come with all the bells and whistles but um if you just bought this speaker and these plumbing fittings you're looking at less than a hundred dollars for your own talk box um so let's plug this thing in and hear how it sounds all right, so I got my Telecaster here that I built. Um, so let's give this thing a shot. It's all plugged in. Um, I have some pedals here. The pedals really help because you need to bring out those harmonics, like distortion. Uh, if you hear it right now, you, you, you can't really hear much. So like you hear the effect, but it's not as pronounced. So this is a little blues pedal. And then here is a tube drive pedal. And then here is a distortion pedal, like real distortion. So you can hear kind of the little differences, um, but let's play with a track, just for fun. Anyways, <laughs> you guys get the idea. I'm not a very good guitar player, as you can tell, but it was a lot of fun. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. And I will put all of the parts down in the description on how to build it in this particular um, talk box. So yeah, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and have a wonderful day. Peace.
Oh wait, there's more. For those that actually want to build this thing, I'm going to show you a little bit more details. So this is the template that I made once I got the speaker. I did some rough measurements and I figured what parts I needed in order to make this thing work. So I bought a piece of cedar from Home Depot. And you can see that here. It was just a fence post. Um, I kind of made these measurements so that I would get rid of as many knots as I could. Um, but back to this, uh, you can see that I needed to do some angles here. So this was kind of the hardest part is uh, figuring out how to cut it and sand it and all those angles, but it wasn't too bad. So after I cut it, I just glued it together. Um, I didn't use any screws or anything, just wood glue and clamps. So that's one picture of that. Here's another one. Um, and then as far as the wiring goes, um, this is just a TRS cable, like a guitar jack cable. So you have to make sure that the black goes to this guy, which is the middle. Um, and then this one is actually connected to here. So that's your positive. And you can also see the capacitor here. The capacitor is used in um, filtering out some of the low end of the signal so that's important uh, here is a close-up of the fittings and stuff so this is just a piece of tubing it's like inch and a quarter tubing inside of here is a three uh, a three-quarter inch female coupling that I had to like cut down they had some ribs on the side of the fitting I just cut them off with a knife this is a three-quarter uh, male by half inch female on the inside bushing and this is a half inch uh, male by half inch OD barbed fitting yeah you can get those at Home Depot and then here's a photo of it just kind of chilling in there uh, here's a picture before I mounted it and the wiring so this is important you need your negative to go to negative obviously and your positive we're going to go in line from the signal in through the capacitor to the hot jack and that will in essence filter out some of the low end um, here is a picture a couple pictures of after i used a polyurethane and this is the final product uh, here's a video of like right after I polyed it you can see it's nice and shiny and yeah I was doing it one-handed <laughs> so the next video this is a close-up of that tube uh, the fittings put together you can see they're all um, threaded into each other as to keep it as small as possible of a transition because the speaker's pretty tall and it just barely fit in the height okay so here's me showing how tight the thing slips onto the threads it's like money and then when you put the top on you can also see I had to cut a bit of the bottom of the wood there and this here is a guitar uh, pick cover that I repurposed just painted it black so yeah, it's nice and snug in there. And then when, when you put the hose on, um, it is really snug. I'm like pushing it super hard. <laughs> and then I actually lift it by the hose to show how snug it is. So anyways, that's it. Um, I hope you guys make one of these. Super awesome, a lot of fun. Anyways, take care. See you next time.